Start parting it to this side, middle part, switching up. Why? Because if you keep parting the same way, you're gonna see balding. It's your girl, Bevy, founder and CEO of Hair Scripts, the platform connecting women with hair loss, whether it's mild all the way to severe causes of hair loss to dermatologists, trichologists, and other hair restoration experts that's gonna help you to restore and regrow healthy, shining, and thriving hair, honey, okay? So if you're experiencing hair loss right now, stop what you're doing, click the link down below so that we can plug you to a vetted expert who specializes in hair and skin of color, okay? So now that that's out the way, you are on this video today because your edges are falling out AKA you're experiencing traction alopecia. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what traction alopecia is and just a spoiler alert, it can be reversed in most cases, in some cases, right? And so don't worry, don't go crazy, don't start flipping out, don't start shaving your head bald because you feel like it's all over from here. It's not. Now shave your head bald if you want to. If you don't know, we have a podcast called The Supernaturals Podcast where, where we will be talking to, I'm so excited about this, women who are bald and beautiful, okay? Some by choice and some simply because they accepted their scarring alopecia for what it was and they are just bad, okay? They're killing it, they are embracing their baldness and they are showing you that you could be bad with or without hair, okay? So anyways, stay tuned for that. That's coming up on our Supernaturals podcast on some episodes about being a bald baddie, okay? But let's get back to this video. Sorry, I keep going into plugs and tangents, okay? This is what she does, pills and potions. But anyway, so let's jump right into the video so I can tell you what traction alopecia is, how to treat it, how to reverse your hair loss, all that good stuff. So before I give you the tea, please subscribe to the channel because I don't give the milk for free. I, don't, I just don't give it away for free, honey. Like, And clicking on the subscribe button is literally free to you. It costs you absolutely nothing. And it's not like Instagram. People don't have to know who you're following. So you don't have to feel like you're thirsty, you know what I mean? Anyway, so what is traction alopecia? Traction alopecia is when you're losing hair, obviously your edges, right? At this per the peripheral of your scalp, right? So that's what we, we all know as my edges are all going back. They're falling, they're plucked. Whatever, whatever we say, whatever the, the churn are saying these days, because I can't, cap, I can't keep up. That's what traction alopecia essentially is. Okay, it's caused by pulling hair back too tightly, tension on the scalp, repeated trauma to your hair follicles, and some people are just genetically predisposed. Let's just call a spade a spade. Some people, they mammy ain't had edges, their mammy's mammy's ain't had edges, their grandmammy's ain't had edges, edges, and it doesn't make you any less or more than any other woman. There's just some people who are genetically predisposed. And again, there are some cases that are not reversible. Let me make that very clear. If you have scarring alopecia, if it's to no return, Right, and so the first step with anything is if you're noticing that your edges are falling out, please go see a professional. Go see an expert, get a free scalp evaluation. If you don't know where to start, click the link down below because our professionals can give you a free scalp evaluation, free-ish, okay, in some cases, and basically let you know what's up, what's up with your scalp. Like, is it really just that your scalp, your edges are, you know, just, temporarily back and you just need a, a couple of things to get it back, they'll help you plan a whole growth regimen to get your hair where you need it to be, okay? Or is it something deeper? There may be an underlying condition. There may be, there may be signs of inflammation that they have to target and treat. So you don't know and before you self-diagnose, I mean, listen, I, I, let me, I always use the vagina as an example because I want to explain the detriment of what I'm trying to explain. If you're burning, if you're itching, are you going to self-diagnose? Don't if you said you will, you shouldn't, right? You need to go to a doctor and find out why you're itching, why you're burning. While it may be obvious that it's a yeast infection, you know, you're not gonna keep doing the same thing and getting no result and expecting different results, right? You're getting no results, it's coming back. It's time to really dive in and figure out what you need to do to repair the problem, right? Same thing here, right? 
itchy scalp, go see a professional. That's step one. But let's talk about step two, right? Step two basically is what that professional or the treatments, okay? So let's talk about how to treat your alopecia, okay? So there's a few different things. If you go to a professional, a professional has different ways. They have a plethora of different treatments that they can offer. What I always recommend is cortisone shots, right? Um, to your scalp. Why? Because it is literally free or free-ish. And when I say free-ish, I mean that your insurance will cover it and you may have to pay a copay or a very small nominal fee. In some cases, not even, hey, come here, even Medicaid covers it, okay? So you have no excuse. You go, you schedule an evaluation, you go get the evaluation, and they give you the cortisone shots. They do not hurt. It doesn't feel, it literally feels like a mosquito bite. And some mosquito bites we don't feel. You don't know until you're itching that you had a mosquito bite. It is concentrated, it's local, it, it reduces inflammation on your scalp, and what it does is it causes hair growth, okay? Six treatments, once a month, you're gonna start to see hair growth results, but before then, you're gonna see results of less shedding, you're not gonna see your hair falling out as much, you're not gonna feel the same inflammation or the itchiness or uncomfortableness on your scalp. So please, honey, child it is free i don't know why you're still watching no still watch the video still watch the video watch it to the end then when you're done you're gonna like comment because you've already subscribed and then you're gonna go click on the link and then you're gonna go get you your free cortisone shots why live with without edges like why if you can get them back like i'm just saying like if you want them they're there at your disposal, no excuse, okay? Next thing is topical applications, okay? So there's topical treatments that you can use. One of the best ones, one of the ones that is out there that everyone talks about, every expert has been on here talking about is minoxidil. Minoxidil is an FDA approved treatment for hair loss. And what it does, it comes in different forms. They have the topical form, which is obviously the serum or the oil or the, or the, the cream, the foam. There's different vehicles, right? The vehicle, whether it's a foam, whether it's a cream, whether it's an oil, whether it's a shampoo. But that you can get over the counter, AKA Rogaine, Rogaine for men or women, right? and it's effective, it's FDA approved, and it has so much data to support that it's extremely effective in regrowing your hair, okay? Especially if you're dealing with something like traction alopecia, that's non-scarring, right? Meaning it can come back, it's not lost forever. So minoxidil is a good one, right? There's a ton of them, and in this video, I cannot address all of them. You will literally have to subscribe to this channel and watch all the videos that go in depth, I mean, we go deep, like we go behind the science, we go behind the microorganisms, we go behind the microscope here on this channel, right? When you guys get a video with me in it, it's me usually taking everything and just making it flavorful. I'm just adding my razzle dazzle, I'm just adding my sazon goya, you know, I'm just making it flavorful and edible and bite-sized pieces, fun-sized pieces, right? Because sometimes my experts could be so scientific, so clinical that some things can go over your head. And so I come here and I package it in a nice little bow and I give it to you. And so go watch those videos because it gives you so many other things, but I'm just gonna list minoxidil right now because it's one of the, it's one of the main ones. And then of course there's scalp massages, which also has data that supports scalp massages are effective in generating hair growth and circulating blood flow to the scalp, delivering the nutrients to the scalp and getting the scalp to a level of homeostasis, right? Scalp massages are effective, they are key. Please take you some money, ration out some scalp massages in your budget, include it in your monthly budget because you have a monthly budget because being a baddie is not just about looking good, it's about having money, it's about feeling good, it's about being the best you, living your best life. So you're gonna ration it into your budget because while it feels, I mean, while you wanna do it yourself, I mean, it's nothing like having a professional massage person, therapist who knows the pressure points in your scalp that's just gonna, oh. Flashbacks. I'm very sorry. I just, I got a little carried away. Anyway, so scalp massages, okay? And of course, 
I have to bring it up. This is a very controversial topic, believe it or not, but it is the number one topic in the black and brown community, hair growth oils. Some people are anti-oil, some people are for oils. My, my perspective on it from speaking to both parties and interviewing people and curating content and creating content is I'm a, I'm a pro oil girl. Now, I am a 3C and I do have very fine hair, so while I personally am not into oils, more serums, right? And it's a difference. I like things that are lighter, non-comedogenic. I like things more like safflower oils, jojoba oils, things that absorb very, very quickly into the skin and scalp because it's super light. I obviously, I'm gonna use an oil to seal, but very little because if I use too much, like a hair too much of oil, no pun intended, is gonna leave my hair looking like straw. So I'm one of those people that some days I opt out of the, the sealing oil. And I usually only use the serums when I do my whole process to reactivate my hair follicles, which that's another video. If you wanna check that out, please check that out. Follow us on Hair Scripts on Instagram, where you're basically, you will see like, all the things about reactivating your sleepy follicles, right? And I'm not gonna talk about that here, but I would implement a hair growth serum. And not all oils are created equally. There are great oils on the market. Glam Naturally oil is a favorite. Um, it just has essential oils that are clinically proven to regrow hair with the right carrier oil that's not comedogenic, that has the right fatty proteins in it that's gonna really optimize your hair growth. And if you want a video to know what are the best hair growth oils, please check out our videos. We have a video here on either how to make your own hair growth serum or the best hair growth oils that you can find to add to your hair growth regimen, okay? so. That is, I mean, listen, oh, let me talk about prevention really quickly and that's really it in a nutshell. I mean, there's so many other things like diet supplements, um, hair growth supplements, and all of that stuff that I'm not touching on here on this video. If you wanna know how to reverse your hair loss in 60 days, I have a video about that on this channel. Check that video out. I go in depth about all the multifactorial steps or the multiple treatments that you need to basically take to starting your hair growth journey. So this is not no so much so about hair growth journey. I'm isolating this specifically to getting those edges back, doing what you can do to kind of like start getting the ball rolling on getting your edges back. But how do you prevent it? Switch it up with your hairstyles. If you do this side part all the time, girl, start parting it to this side, middle part, switching up. Why? Because if you keep parting the same way, you're gonna see balding. It's just it's natural it's just you can't you can't avoid it right but if you just have to have that side part then just be ready to see a spot that's a little wider than usual a part that's a little wider than usual and if you don't mind then if you like it i love it right then that's another thing avoid tying up your hair when it's wet right i was guilty of this for years i would wet my hair and do a slick back um, Steven Seagal. Now this is not a slick back Steven Seagal, although it looks like it because you know I just used the right amount of product in the front to make it look like I'm mixed. Um, but I'm just mixed with um, gel and water, honey. But you know, um, at the end of the day, you know, I used to wet my whole head and then like tie it up in a bun, like a tight bun, and that would be my style. And then it would sit there for like anyway that. <laughs> Look, I, this is not my confessional. These are not my confessions, but I'm just telling you, like, don't do that, okay? And of course, avoid relaxers, chemicals, and high manipulative, high manipulative styles that are just gonna be pulling and tugging, right? Like, not for nothing, but the bun is not always the best. Now, I do it because I don't like when my ends look crazy, when they look janky, and I don't wanna be walking around here with, you know, I slick it up, but you gotta give it a rest. You can't go to sleep with this bun on, wake up with this bun on, and keep a cast on this bun. I gotta loosen it up so when the cameras go off, she's gonna, she's gonna be a little wild child, right? She's gonna be, you know, Punky Brewster, but it is what it is, right? If you want your edges back, please follow these, these tips. Do me a favor, subscribe if you haven't already because for whatever reason you listened to the end and you still didn't subscribe. Like and comment below. Tell me what I said that actually helped you. If there's anything new that you haven't heard, I'm sure there is. And you know what? Join the family, join the baddie, the baddie bunch because that's what we are here. We're baddies, whether we're 20, 30, 40, 50, or 60, you can be a baddie at any age, honey. Just try me if you want, okay? But anyway, love you, bye.